we're holding a large scale extensive drill on what would we would all do in an active shooter type scenario. Station all San Marcos units. We have several callers reporting an active shooter at Mission Hills High School. Cold seekers can hear gunfire in the background. It's always important for us to take care of the kids. It's just giving us the opportunity to put that theory into practice as well as allowing the people to work together. We're just people here trying to be there for them when they need it. Our sheriff's deputies have actually gone out to our campuses and done safety assessments. Familiarizing themselves and just being able to walk the campus and get an idea of what's here, what's the composition of the school. Oh, I've been here before. I know this gate's open. I know this works. So learning those access points. So they're very familiar with the campus. They know our staff. They build relationships with our students. <laughs> We've been working to build a culture of see something, say something. If there's something that just doesn't seem right, if they overheard a conversation, our students can go to a trusted adult on our campus and make sure they can share that tip. It's anonymous, it's safe, and there's going to be action taken on it. All of our school sites have amazing school counselors. We have social workers. But if you need immediate assistance, 988 is the emergency national mental health and crisis line that anyone can call, text, or engage in a chat. I think probably it's best for your kids to have a little conversation about if something happens and you're going to get separated or you're going to leave school, have a plan to meet up. The safety of our students and our staff is the utmost importance and we're continually working to keep our campuses safe, ensure we have proper mental health supports and students feel that they're healthy and safe and supported when they come on any of our San Marcos Unified campuses.